ESCOM is set to host a virtual media briefing on small-scale embedded generators this afternoon, addressing the growing adoption of solar rooftop systems by residential consumers. This initiative aims to support the smooth integration of clean energy into the national grid as more South Africans turn to renewable energy sources. To unpack this further, let's now speak to energy expert, Jose Muleshe. Uh, Jose, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. So perhaps uh, where we want to start is just unpacking um, the definition and the understanding of small-scale embedded generation. Of course, it's not only something that is used uh, in households, but we know that um, uh, commercial or industrial um, sites have also been using this where electricity is generally also consumed. Maybe just unpack the significance of then this particular uh, you know, development and the meeting that is expected to take place too. Thank you for the opportunity and good afternoon to the viewers. Um, so the small scale embedded generation projects are small scale generators of electricity like your solar PV systems which can be uh, installed on rooftops of domestic users. There are bigger systems that can be installed, as you correctly point out, in commercial buildings as well as industrial uh, users. Um, and so ESCOM is, is looking, I suppose, to clarify with respect to what are the requirements, as particularly for the smaller scale, which are households below 50 kilowatts, where there is supposed to be compliance with specific um, legal as well as um, uh, technical requirements. And the difference between these and, um, you know, the IPPs that we've been hearing of, of course, as an alternative, uh, you know, to other sources of energy? So there, there, there are the differences that you have, you can have large scale um, solar or wind projects. These are utility scale types of projects. They are bigger um, than the, the, the one megawatt. And these installations are typically done and connected directly to ESCOM, where ESCOM has a power purchase agreement with them, those um, suppliers, or they can supply industry directly. So those are larger scale. The smaller scale are more uh, or, or sm small, less than one megawatt in terms of projects. That's mm. the difference. And I mean, ESCOM has always been calling for those um, private installed SSEGs, um, and but also cautioning against, you know, uh, adhering to regulatory and safety guidelines. Uh, what are you likely, or what are we likely to hear then from, from ESCOM uh, in as far as that is concerned, or what should ESCOM also be saying when it does address uh, the media later on this afternoon, do you think? Yeah, so ESCOM is, has been expressing a concern that um, in terms of this, managing the whole system, since these uh, small embedded uh, energy generators are connected to their system, some of them, they don't know, they, don't, they are not registered. So they cannot, for, for instance, ascertain in terms of how much is the total that is going into the system. That makes it difficult for them to manage the system from an operation point of view and ensure that during load shedding or during uh, uh, times when there are issues that they can then be able to rely on, on, on that capacity. It can come in any time and it's available. So that is why they are requiring registration. The second concern that they have is the safety in terms of the installers, whether it's from credible installers that are doing this as it interacts with the network and that could put the whole ESCOM network at risk. So they are insisting that any application should go through a, a, a credible engineer, engineers or, or credible installers that can make sure that there's compliance. That is why they are requiring, requiring an application form. And what they are saying is that users for now, even though ESCOM has been calling for that, are not really adhering to that which is putting issues at risk. The third issue is that recently with the new tariff that has been approved, they have included the install is um, fixed costs, which include now it will be slightly more expensive for these generators 
to connect to the grid because of that additional tariff. Yeah, uh, especially when you consider, you know, that um, the South African Local Government Association or SALGA also, you know, gave a comprehensive report um, and, and, and took some data in terms of just the usage on embedded generator installations, saying that these are uh, have been accelerated, particularly from a municipality perspective. What are the implications then for ESCOM? Would these unregulated uh, terrain mean, particularly from a financial perspective? Uh, from a financial perspective, I mean, any capacity that reduces uh, demand from ESCOM can have some impact in terms of um, sales for ESCOM. So that's one of the issues. And actually, those who argue, some are arguing that ESCOM is making it difficult for the users because they don't want to use the, to lose the, the customers. So that can be the impact. The more um, these uh, projects are there, uh, the more ESCOM tends to, to lose um, customers. However, most of them are still connected to ESCOM. When so, because the, the, the generation is variable, when you don't have enough, they still re re rely on ESCOM for the supply. Who's Hence, that? they are being charged uh, installation costs. Absolutely. Jose, thank you so much for unpacking that for us. Uh, Jose Molesha is an energy expert, just speaking there, of course, on the small scale embedded generators.